Hello, I'm Lassa Logan, and today I'm going to show you crisscross from your ab series on the mat, but here on your window chair. So the final exercise in the ab series of five is the crisscross. Oh my gosh, it's so hard to do if you do it right. And so first of all, you wanna make sure that you feel how how much difficulty there is in the crisscross on the mat before you do it here. If on the mat it feels easy peasy, you're just going back and forth, you're not doing it connected. And I don't want you to bring it up here because you could fall off on top of the chair. So make sure you're able to do it there before you add it here. I included the ab series of five on the flashcards for the chairs on onlinepilatesclasses.com because I wanted you to see how there can be mat exercises done on the chair and how you can incorporate that into a workout. So definitely check out the related exercises on the other chairs and the mat and reformer when you're looking at this flashcard. If you are here, not from those flashcards, hello, it's so nice to meet you. Make sure you check out the flashcards we have for onlinepilatesclasses.com. We have, we'll have six decks in our total series and the chairs is our fourth deck. So. You could get to the crisscross from transitioning in from double leg stretch, double straight leg stretch, excuse me, or you can take a break and do it. Personally, I try not to do it all the way through because even if you're doing three reps of each, well, there are single sided ones and that really makes it long. So I sometimes do single leg stretch, double leg stretch, then single straight leg stretch, double straight leg stretch, crisscross, or I might do three, then a break, then two. So just keep that in mind, play with it on your body. If you do it laying long ways, it's a little easier not easier, but a little easier um, than laying short ways on your chair. So lie on your back. If you're coming from your double straight leg stretch and your hands are already behind your head, you can go down, up, pull one knee in. If you're coming from a break with your knees into your chest, bring your hands behind your head, interlace them, push your head into your hands, hands into your head, one knee in and twist. Now you have to keep that curl up. It's tempting because there's no mat there for you to lower your chest. But we're gonna keep it nice and high as we twist side to side. And then after a few reps, pat yourself on the back because you just did one of the hardest crisscrosses in the Pilates program. And then also check us out at onlinepiletesclasses.com where we do life better.